Immortality is in our reach. This simple fact has far reaching implications. It requires radical rethinking and revision of our genetic imperatives. It also requires planning and forethought of running direct opposition to our neural precepts. I find it helpful at times like these to remind myself that our true enemy is instinct. Instinct was our mother when we were an infant species. Instinct coddled us and kept us safe in those hard scrambled years when we had no sticks, cooked our first meals of our legal fire, and started at the shadows that leapt upon the cavern's walls. But inseparable from instinct is its dark twin, superstition. Instinct is inextricably bound to unreasoning impulses. And today we clearly see its true nature. Instinct has just become aware of its irrelevance. Instinct would inflict a fatal injury on our species. Instinct creates its own oppressors and bids us rise up against them. Instinct tells us that the outcome is a threat rather than an opportunity. Instinct propels us away from change and progress. Instinct, therefore, must be exploited. It must be fought tooth and nail, beginning with the basest of human urges, the urge to reproduce. We should thank our benefactors for giving us respite. This I talked to you here before. They have thrown a switch and exercised our demons in a single switch. They have given us the strength we never could have summoned to become this compulsion. They have given us Suppressing fear will be shut off on the day we have mastered ourselves. The day we can prove we no longer need it. And that day of transformation, I have it on good authority, is close at hand. Thank <laughs> you. 
always starts. First the building, then the whole block. They have no reason to come to our place. Don't worry, they'll find one. He's one of us. I told you they'd be coming for us next. Just this once, I hope you're wrong.
Combine can be slow to wake, but once they're up, you don't want to get in their way. Dr. Kleiner said you'd be coming this way. <laughs> I don't think it occurred to him that you might not have a map. I'm Alex Vance. My father worked with you back in Black Mesa. I'm sure he don't remember me, though. Man, a few words, aren't you? Remember him from Black Mesa? Your old administrator. <laughs> Don't get my dad started on Dr. Breen. Through here. Funny, you showing up on this day in particular. 